What's up guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 30 of the tutorial series on Amazon API Gateway Tutorial. In part 29 of this tutorial series, I had taken you through any method that is ANY method. And now in this tutorial, I will take you through proxy resource in API Gateway. So how we can configure that and how we can use that. So basically configuring resources as a proxy resource is a greedy path where one can pass the entire sub resource chain to the backend as path variables. So basically this slash category is a resource or it can be a path parameter. Then slash add is basically a sub resource within that category. Then slash add is again the sub resource, right? So let's try to understand with an example so let's say we have a certain categories like fruits vegetables fast food and so on so this slash within curly braces category represent the path parameter so this will be set dynamically when any user or any client invoke the api endpoint right so let's consider uh, we are passing a vegetables and we want to add something right so slash add is going to be the sub resource and this slash category is the resource right so it's going to be the api endpoint url slash vegetables so that will be set as the category slash add right and followed by the method that we want to invoke so as i said now we want to configure api endpoint for adding deleting and fetching of data so here category is the path parameter and within that we have the sub resource which is add delete and get data with the respective methods right so now the question is that how we can configure a single resource that can handle everything dynamically from backend. So the answer is we can use proxy resource along with the any method, right? So let's go ahead and implement that. So for example, we want to replicate this whole implementation, this whole scenario of slash category and the sub resources, right? So I will have this API endpoint that is a proxy API and here I'm going to create a resource. So I will click on action. I will say create resource and here we will say configure as proxy resource and we will check this checkbox then it will automatically set the resource name and resource path for us right so it will be something like curly braces within that proxy and we have the plus sign over there so this is basically the proxy resource so generally the proxy resource will handle requests to all resources using a greedy path parameter right and the proxy resource will also create the special HTTP method that is any ANY method while we create the proxy resource, right? So let's have a look. So I will simply say create resource and as you can see, it automatically created the any method for us and now it is asking us for the integration type. So that's going to be the Lambda function proxy, right? And we are going to use the same Lambda function that we have created in the previous tutorial that is part 29. So here is that Lambda function. I'm going to copy the name of the Lambda function and paste it over here. So by default, it's going to be the proxy integration, right? So here we don't have that checkbox because it's going to be by default proxy integration. That's why uh, you can see the text as Lambda function proxy, correct? And once you're done with this configuration, you can click on save, say OK. Right. So now we are all done with the uh, proxy resource configuration. And also we have only one method within that that is any which is able to handle all the supported HTTP methods. And finally, we are done with all the configuration and we are good to deploy this API. So we will click on action and we will say deploy API. Select the deployment stage. I will say new stage. I will name it as version one and I will say deploy. Right. So here we have the invocation URL. So we are going to copy this. We will navigate to postman. Let me open postman. So here we are. So I will paste the invocation URL followed by the category that we want to replicate. So I will say, for example, fruits and what action I want to perform. So I will say I want to add something, right? And the method is going to be the post. Now within headers, I will define content type as application slash JSON. And within body, I will pass the payload that is JSON payload. I will say item 
apple something like this right so right now in the backend we are not handling any of this cases so it's only going to print the event and within that event i will show you this uh, resource parameters or the path parameters along with the payload right so i will say send and it return post method call so let's go back to the lambda function and open the cloudwatch logs click on monitoring say view logs in cloudwatch now here we have the log i will open that and here we are so here it says uh, resource as slash proxy and we have the path parameter that's fruits slash add and the http method is post right and we can look for body so here we are right and it says item as apple right so basically it handle this path parameter that is slash fruits slash add automatically right so it just simply forward all the data or all the uh, request parameters to the backend that is in my case it's the lambda function right now let's try to invoke one more time now here after version one we will have the fruits category and after that let's say i want to delete something so i'll say delete let me not pass the payload instead i will pass on the query string parameter let's say id equal to one and here instead of post i will say delete and i will say send and here we have the response that is delete method call with the status code 200 it means it ran successfully and we should have the logs over here so here we are now the path parameters are something like slash fruits slash delete right so delete is basically the sub resource and similarly you can pass uh, multiple sub resource right it can be slash fruits slash delete slash something right or maybe the fruit name right or the fruit id so here we have that path and we have the http method as delete and we should have this query string parameters that is id as one right now at this point of time we are not handling any logic within this lambda function but you can go ahead and put in some condition that for example if we are receiving certain path parameters that is slash fruits and if we are receiving the delete as the sub resource or add as the sub resource then what we want to do right or what action we want to perform so you can handle everything within this lambda function so well apart from that you can pass in multiple sub resources or the chain of sub resources as per the requirement or the use case demand with the respective supported methods right so we had configured any method so it will be able to handle any http method supported by the api gateway and it will pass on that uh, request data to the lambda function or the http backend integration and the backend should be able to handle that so well yeah that's all i wanted to cover in this tutorial and till the time if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with a tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then again please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time